guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to do some makeup and my hair actually, cause I look gross. I just really wanted to sit and do a bit of a full glam. I really want to do my hair. This is hair washing day. I'm aware. I'm washing my hair tonight and I thought it was a good opportunity to show you a slick back hair. It's just my favourite thing to do in the world. And I'm also going to show you my makeup as well. I've got an idea for a makeup look that is super glowy, perfect for our venture back into the world. Lockdown is easing after all. And yeah, I just really wanted to sit and sit and have some fun with you guys. So I'm going to do my hair first and I'm actually going to, I'm going to multitask here. I'm going to put a hair mask in, which is going to give my hair a bit of a wet look. This is called The Spotlight Circle by Davines. This hair mask is one of my favourites actually. And I've just squeezed a little bit out of the packet. This, this usually does me like two or three goes. And I'm just going to start putting that through my hair. This is going to give a wet look. You kind of need to rub it in. Basically, my wet look hair is just great when your hair's kind of needing washed anyway. But it always looks really sleek. So I'm just putting loads of that mask in. You can see it goes quite white, but see when you start rubbing it, it kind of rubs in. And I'm going to get a brush brush it back we're going for quite a smooth look so there you go you can see the white parts are gone and then this is gonna hydrate my hair at the same time as doing my makeup so my hair is pretty saturated you can see the mask as well will keep this texture so it's quite a greasy look if you're not up for that that's totally fine i actually i just love it i love a slick back hair i'm going to wipe my hands on my jeans if you have a towel do that and then what you can do is grab some hairspray so the got to be glued hairspray is my favorite for this and this is just going to keep the front of my hair from moving even though i've got the hair mask in and i'm using a little kind of back combing brush just to really slip the sides behind my ears there we go, like that is so, it's such a lie. I can see that my hair is a bit dry here. Another thing you can do is actually go in with an oil. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite hair oils. This is the Virtue Healing Oil. Uh, it's expensive, but I've been using it throughout lockdown and uh, my hair's growing quite a lot. I just, I think it really works. And like my hair was needing washed, but now it looks like I mean it to look like this. It's all a lie. So that guys is, is so quick and easy. Like that's literally how quick and easy it is. Now for the makeup. I am going to do a super glowy look and it's a really quick and easy look as well but it's going to look really beautiful, really feminine, kind of bitchy, it's one of my favourites. First thing I'm going to do is use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This, you can see right, my body is a lot more tanned than my face, I've been, not been using my face tanner because I've ran out. <laughs> I've tried to buy it and it was sold out so this is what happens when I don't use my face tanner. I completely lose the tan on my face. I think it's because I use acids and stuff. But you can see that is a bit warmer than my skin. So when I blend it out, it'll just kind of make my face match my body a little bit more. We're going for a super glowy, tanned, kind of bombshell look, I guess. I was actually looking at pictures of Megan Fox. I'm just obsessed with her and her face as well. I just love her face so much. And her makeup's always really sexy. I've applied that all over. If you watched my vlog last week you'll see that this is actually one of my favourite bases at the moment. It just gives really flawless, beautiful skin. It's not a foundation, but it's not not a foundation. So they call it flawless filter. You can use this underneath foundation to perfect it and for more coverage, but you can also just use it by itself and you can see straight away the colour looks so nice. It's quite sheer as well. You can still see kind of spots and stuff through it, which is why I'm going to spot conceal. But this is one of my all-time favourite bases for makeup. And like I said, this is going to be a nice quick look, but it's going to be really beautiful as well. And I just think the dewy skin and the wet hair, it gives me real summer vibes. I am so desperate to go on holiday. So desperate. I can almost smell the ocean. To add a little bit of coverage in the centre of my face and spot conceal anything I need to do, I'm going to use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Ginger. And I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush and I'm just going to get some of that product and I'm going to stipple it under my eyes for a bit of brightness. Give it a ball, my little chin. And then I'm just going to blend that out with the brush as well. You can see that just adds a tiny bit of coverage in the centre of the face. I like to do a little touch on my forehead as well. My most problem area, bizarrely, is just right here in my eyebrows and my chin and here in my face. Everywhere. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> my nose as well. I like to have a wee bit more coverage just at the side of my nose. Just there. And I'm not going to go onto my eyelid. I am going to conceal just here. I get a little bit of darkness just at the side of my eye and by doing this, it helps lift the face. You can see I've not done any bronzer, but straight away, my face and my body match so much better. So it's such a quick fix. I do definitely miss my tanning water though. 
I'm not going to use too much powder in this look, but I am going to powder just under my eyes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, shade number two. And I'm just going to do a light sweep just under my eyes where I crease and that's it. So you can see that that just looks a little bit more mattified. If you've got any kind of dark circles under your eyes, this just helps smooth the appearance out. And then just any areas that look a little bit more oily than glowy, I'm going to tap that powder in. So like here on my nose, see if I just did that. There we go, that looks better. So it's just like strategic, oh my God, my new favorite word is strategic, isn't it? Strategic placing of powder around my mouth because I talk a lot. But I'm gonna leave the cheeks super glowy. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this already. I actually feel it a million times better already. So because we're going for a really bronzed, summery look, I'm gonna use bronzer, lots of it. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, shade number three, tan. It does look quite deep compared to my skin tone, but when you use gorgeous sheer layers of this product, it builds up in a really nice way. I'm gonna go in with a blush brush from Morphe. This is the E4 brush, and I've got a little bit of that product, and I'm gonna use little circles to buff that in. And because I've got wet foundation, if you use sheer layers and really buff it in, you won't get any patchiness or anything. And I'm keeping my bronzer super high, and then I'm going to bronze my forehead as well. And then right my little nose. I'm not going to contour my nose, but I am just going to use the side of the brush to touch the sides. It really just ties in the face, doesn't it, when you add a wee bit of dimension with a bronzer. I'm not going too crazy, actually. I'm going to go underneath my chin just to try and define my lockdown chin. That is such a quick gorgeous base. I, I honestly would wear this base anywhere and because it's so fresh it wears really beautifully even if it kind of slightly fades off. It, obviously it's not going to be as long lasting as a full coverage matte foundation with loads of powder on top but because it is so fresh and natural if it naturally kind of fades then it's no kind, no kind of big deal. So I'm going to do the tip of my nose. Nice and that for me it's such nice skin. I love it. It's so natural. It's really brought my colour up. I feel like my body and my face really match now, whereas before I did look a bit peely-wally in the face. For the eyes, uh, this is going to be so easy. I'm going to zoom you in. There's a close-up look of the skin. So nice. And for the eyes, to keep it that kind of fresh, natural way, I'm not going to do anything on my lid at all, but I am going to do a slight wing. To do that, I'm going to use a pencil. This is a, a really dark brown pencil by NARS. It's the High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Last Frontier. Really creamy, really nice. And we're going to sketch out a slight cat eye and we're going to manipulate it with an angle brush. This is a really nice way to get a wing that's not too defined. When you use black it can be quite harsh. I do love a black eyeliner but this using a dark brown is one of my favourites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look down into a mirror and I'm going to just start sketching out. So you can do it quite rough and then I'm going to go in with my angle brush while it's still drying and just start to smudge that a little bit. And then I'm going to pull the tail of the wing up and out with the brush. What you can do as well is the tip of the eyeliner, you can go in with the brush to pick up the product. If you need to add a little bit here and there and you don't want to draw straight on. And then I'm actually going to go under my eye as well. I never usually do this, but I want it to be quite sultry. And when I was looking at pictures of Megan Fox, she always has her wings under the eye as well and it makes it look really moody. I really like it. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. I don't know if you guys are the same, but I get like quite obsessed with one person and I'll just look at their face. I'll stare at their face and be like, how can I make my face look a little bit more like their face? <laughs> So I'm adding a little bit more product. Again, I'm going in straight with the brush and the pencil. The angle brush I'm using is a Smith 205. Really nice. These last a really long time as well. And when I'm going under the eye, I'm not going right at the lash line. I'm kind of pulling it under a bit. And that's going to give the illusion of larger eyes as well. Okay, let's try and do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> and this eyeliner, you, you need to work quite quickly with it. But once it's on, it's on. It's not going to come off. Yeah, I like that. This is a bit different for me, like shape-wise. One of my favourite things at the moment is playing around with the shape of my wings to see how it can change the appearance of my whole makeup. I think it's so fun. Because I'm using a pencil, you can manipulate it a little bit more than, say, like a black felt tip. You can pat over the pencil and smudge it and warm it up again. I'm just adding a teeny wee bit. In my tear duct, you can barely see it. To soften up the liner, I'm going to go in with a little brush and I'm going to go back in with the bronzer and I'm just going to use this along the edges to soften the colour so it's not quite as strong. 
can see this, see this? That's annoying me now. I need to do this. Bring up that powder. There we go. And see it looks a wee tiny bit patchy at the end because I tapped it away so I'm just building that back up. And it's a fun way to play with pencils because pencils go blunt really quickly so you need to, you know, figure out a good way to manipulate them to make them nice and clean if that's the look that you want. To clean up the end of the wing I'm going to go back in with my concealer and a little angle brush. Get most of that product away on the back of my hand. And then what you can do is use this just to clean up the very edges. There we go. So it's nice and sharp. For this look, I wanted it to look really lashy, but I didn't want big falsies. I kind of wanted the best of both. So I've got a pair of tatty lashes here that are really natural, and I'm going to stick them on before I do my mascara, and then I'm actually going to apply mascara to these to make it look like, kind of like my lashes, but better. So I'm going to glue these up. I've already cut them, because I am efficient. When I'm waiting for those lashes to dry off, I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows. I want to keep it quite natural still, so I'm going to go in with the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. And I'm just going to go through my eyebrows first to get them nice and fluffy. This actually also kind of cleans off any product, so if you've got any powder in your eyebrows, this will get rid of it. And it will also just really let you see what you're working with with your natural brow shape. And then when that's kind of still drying, I'm going to go in with my cabrow. This is the shade 4, so it's a wee bit darker. But as you can see, I'm pretty much a full-on brunette now. So I'm going to go in with shade number 4, and I'm going to do my little trick that I love, which is to drop down the front of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to enhance the arch, and I'm going to leave the rest of the brow free of product. So you can see that it still looks really kind of wispy and natural, because we've not gone right through the whole brow. Okay, I'm going to pop these lashes on. I've left them a bit longer than usual. I've not cut them in half or anything. So I'm just going to stick these on. Yeah, really nice. See? Really natural, but they're still quite long and wispy. And then while your lashes are drying, you can kind of manipulate them to make sure that they're exactly where you want, but they look nice. Yeah, that's better. So I'm gonna I'm lifting the lash slightly. This is something that I used to do back in the day. When I would wear lashes, I would pull the end up. So the end of the lash isn't actually at my lash line, it's higher, which gives the kind of elevated eye. I know that everyone is doing it on TikTok at the moment, but it's quite, it's a, quite an old trick. We used to do it at Illamasca when I worked there. And you can see that just kind of brings up my eyes even more. I'm all about the lift, the lift and the sculpt. I'm just going to pop on, this is the Marc Jacobs Blacker at Lash, so it's lifting and volumising. I don't want to use a plastic brush because I'm scared that they'll rip my lashes off. So I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to use the mascara to blend my own lashes in with the falsies and then continue up into the falsies a little bit as well. And then I really want nice bottom lashes. Oh, really nice. Yeah, that looks nice and lashy, doesn't it? That's exactly what I wanted. Pat on the back. And I'm gonna exaggerate the end a bit more. Cool, I think I look quite different. Let's zoom you out and do our lips. I love that eyeliner. Holy moly. I've not done liner like that in a really long time. But even from the side, it makes my eyes look bigger. Flipping brilliant. For my lips, I am really excited to share with you some new Charlotte Tilbury. For those of you that don't know, I have a partnership with Charlotte Tilbury and this is a part of that partnership. I think that you guys are gonna really like this lip color because it's something that I've probably not done before. Whenever I go for a red lip, it's always the kind of same tone and this is really different for me. But this lip is actually what inspired this whole look. So Charlotte Tilbury, for those of you that don't know, came out with an amazing collection of lipsticks that are named after iconic magic women. I have here two shades from the Hot Lips 2 collection, Viva La Vergara and Amazing Amal. And I'm gonna go for Viva La Vergara, so I'm gonna show you it. It is a really gorgeous red, but it's kind of got more of a kind of pinky tone to it, which I never ever wear. And like I said, this inspired the whole look. But with these lipsticks, one of the really cool things is you can actually buy refills. It's really innovative, it's really cool packaging. I just think that they're really gorgeous. So I'm gonna use the shade Viva La Vergara. I'm gonna use this one on my lips. But first I'm gonna line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. This is in the shade Hollywood Honey. And I'm gonna do my kind of favorite lip shape, which is nice and kind of pouty right in the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch out my lip line. And I like to keep it quite true to my lip shape at the sides and then enhance in the middle. And then I'm just going to bring that lip liner onto the lip slightly. 
There's my lips line for now. We might go back in with the lip line and you never know with me. Let's go in with the lipstick. So it's a matte revolution formula. Really, really comfortable on the lip, but you get really nice pigment. Uh, it's really comfortable though. It's definitely not a drying matte. It's nice and hydrating and it's antioxidant as well. So it's good for your lips. So it was this lipstick actually that inspired me. That's what made me end up looking at Megan Fox and things because she always has this gorgeous kind of bitten red lip and it just really reminds me of that. So I just think this is so beautiful. I'm gonna go back in with the lip liner and just push out the lip shape slightly. And then similarly to the eyes, you can go back in with your little angle brush and concealer to just tidy things up. Now we've had our makeup sitting for a bit, I'm actually gonna powder a little bit more. You can see that I'm a little bit dewy dewy in the, in the middle. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of powder just around here. This is one of my favorite little tricks to tie in my makeup look and you can do it with any lipstick at all. But I'm gonna draw this on the pad of my thumb and then I'm gonna rub my hands together. These are our natural beauty blenders guys. And then I'm gonna swap sides. So I'm gonna use this hand on this cheek and I'm gonna pat the lipstick in as a blush. So obviously this is quite a nice dark lipstick so you can just use a little bit and then continue to pat that out. Wow. And then for a little bit of highlight, I'm gonna use the Glossier Play Night Shine Highlighter Concentrate. I don't think I've ever used this on my face before. I've swatched it, but that's it. I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my finger and then, nice. Just to keep to the super dewy theme. I always end up using that part of my hand when I'm blending out. Wow, very fresh. So you guys, that is the finished look. I hope you really liked it. At the moment, I'm just loving playing around with pulling back certain aspects of my makeup, changing the shape of things, kind of trying out new colors that I usually wouldn't. Like, I just think that this look turned out really pretty. Let me know if you do too. As always, I will link everything that I used down below. And other than that, I will see you next time. Bye. Don't have my nails done yet, but soon, my friends, soon. <laughs> I can hear my chair going, mm, 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 mm. and there is, um, I'm, I'm, oh my god, all my hair is falling out. Oh, there's a close up. <laughs> now I've got a hair mask in my hands. Oh god, I just nearly poked my flipping eye out. So you can see I've not done any bra. Oh my god, it's 20 past five at night, and I just has a coffee. I don't usually have coffee this late, and I can feel, I feel myself getting the caffeine. <laughs> nice. I always sound like those seagulls from Finding Nemo. Nice.